dark as a motherfucker back there. Yo, dog, get out and guide me, please. Nah, easy does it. Easy does it. Oh. Babe, turn the flash on your phone and hold it out the window. Babe, I can't see. What's happening, YouTube? Candy back with another video coming to you straight from quarantine. And today we're going to be placing the reverse light on my 91 Miata. Now, if you got a reverse light that's out, the stock ones are too dim, or you just want to upgrade the LEDs, these are all great reasons to replace the LED reverse lights. Let's get straight into it, guys. First, I want to talk to you guys the name of the game when replacing any type of bulbs in your car. The amount of care that you put into taking care of the bulbs before and during installation is going to matter how long the bulbs are going to last you. Let's go over what you're going to need. Now, if you're working on a Miata like me, you don't need any sort of tools and that goes for almost any car. The worst thing for a car is maybe you got some push pins that you got to remove off a panel and then you can access the bulbs. But keep in mind the name of the game. With that being said, let's get into what you're going to need. First and obviously your LED lights. The link will be in the description for these in particular down below. Now there are so many different LEDs you can buy online. I'm going to share with you what I was looking for and why these stood out to me. So now if you're looking at reverse lights on eBay, you're going to see the different colors, the 360 LEDs all around, the strobes. Yeah, I don't need none of that. Why these stood out to me is the price, the shipping date. The Calvins, which if you don't know what Calvins are, it's it's the brightness of the LED. This is 6,000 Calvins, which if I'm not mistaken is the max. We'll get in a little more to it when we actually start installing, but you're going to need to grab the bulbs in order to install them. These have grips on the side of them, so these are going to work out really well for us. So really, that's all you need to install reverse lights, but I'm going to show you what I use to make sure that those bulbs stay undamaged. Get you a box cutter blade. This is to open up the back of the packaging so we don't risk tearing it open and dropping one of the bulbs. And some microfiber towels. You can use any sort of cloth or latex glove work, work really good. This was a four pack I got for free at Harbor Freights. All right, let's get straight into it. All right, let's carefully open the package. After you pop the trunk, you want to locate your reverse light, which is right there, follow it straight back, in which you're going to see the whole tail light assembly. Now you don't need to disconnect anything, all you need to do is locate the two tabs, which is one right here, one right here, and you want to put two, both fingers on, squeeze, and pull out. Be careful before you pull out because you have your tail light bulb and your reverse light bulb right here, so pull straight directly out. Okay, we put a microfiber cloth right there just for a precaution. Go ahead and put your fingers both on those tabs, squeeze, and pull straight out. Go ahead and grab the bulb and twist counterclockwise or left and pull straight out. We're going to use a microfiber towel so we don't touch the bulb even though it already has grooves. Now you're going to want to pay close attention to those notches you see on either side of them. Here's a close look on the inside of it. You're going to want to line those notches up. And you're going to push straight down. There's going to be a spring, so put a little bit of elbow grease and turn it clockwise or right. And there you go. Now all you want to do after that is carefully put them back into the socket. And make sure you press firmly to hear a click. Here's a side-by-side -side look. Huge upgrade. One more time on the driver's side. Grab on the both tabs. Press down, pull straight out, grab the light bulb, twist counterclockwise, and pull straight out. Grab your new bulb, line the notches up, and go straight in. Press down and turn to the right. All you want to do from there is line the bulbs up with the hole, try not to hit them on the frame, and push firmly to hear a click. And yeah guys, that's all it takes to replace your reverse lights. Alright guys, that's how easy it is to replace your reverse lights to LEDs. Unfortunately, the bulbs that I had in previously went out, so I can't really show you a before and after it would look like on and off. But I'm going to wait for the sun to go down so I can show you guys how bright the 6,000 Calvins actually is. But to me personally, you're reversing. So I want everyone in the motherfucker to know that I'm reversing, stay away. I want that shit to light up like a football field stadium light so I can see everyone, everything, and everyone see me when I'm reversing. Hope the video helped you. If you got any questions, leave them down in the comments below. Next video coming next week. See y'all then. Bye. Alright, the sun just went down. These are how the LEDs look. I'm gonna be honest with you, they ain't that bright. Like, they not shining right there. Like, 
they not that bright. I'm gonna see how close I need to bring the car in order for you to see it on the bumper. So we're gonna try that right now. But for show, they look pretty cool. I think it's a nice white. Guys, pro tip, if you got one light that's on and one light that's off, or maybe it didn't work, go ahead, do the process again, but flip the bulb 180 degrees. So get the notch, make, go flip it to the other side of the notch and put it back in, and I promise you that's gonna work. There's no way of seeing from outside the bulb if you got it on right or not, so you're just gonna have to turn on the car and rotate it if it didn't work properly. <laughs> All right, my boys, 6,000 Calvin's my ass, dude. To be fair, the Miata stock lights are pretty fogged up. But still, I think I would like to be able to still see it shine on the bumper. But nah. Anyways, hope you guys are brighter than mine. Hope it still helped you out. See y'all next week.